afternoon. I'm Frankie. I hope you're doing well today. I have decided to do another fast update on summer wells. I've had a hard time trying to figure out where the property is as well as the landscape and where certain places are positioned. So I was able to get the help from the podcaster, the devil came knocking. He did all the legwork. So now we can have a little bit better insight as to the train, where the trailer is, where the house is located. So make sure to go check out his podcast. So the TBI has been out searching for summer wells again. They use this church as their command post and then they head out from there. I had an idea of how remote this area is, but until I actually seen the photos from The Devil Came Knocking, I truly had no idea how remote these hollows are. It's actually a very pretty area, but sadly there's no work and there's lots of issues with drugs and crime as well as gang activity, and I have heard that the Aryan Nations are located somewhere in that area. So, as we all know, sadly, sometimes poverty can do that. I'm not agreeing with the behaviors, <laughs> but um, it's sad. And another thing, you know, that was brought to my attention is the school there is not doing well. They're not getting the funding and they're kind of stuck because the next school is about 25 minutes away in Rogersville. So that would make it a little trickier for the bus rides. The kids would be on the school bus 24-7. So it's uh, they're in a spot. So the next photo I want to show you is from Ben Hill Road looking up. So what you can see there is Grandis's trailer. I was fairly surprised to see how visible it actually is from the road. I'm not so sure that someone could be sitting there waiting. It's, I mean, although the trees do fill in and they get thick, I'm having a hard time seeing that. And right now we're trying to figure out if Grandis actually had a nap. That just came out. Was she napping when Summer went missing? The last interview she gave, she gave, which is pretty much the first since this first happened, a lot of different things have come out, and one was the nap. It's probably not best for her to talk for herself, but for our benefit, I'd like to see Granny just keep talking. So, this next photo is of the Wells House. And I believe it's also taken from Ben Hill Road. There is zero trespassing in this video and in these pictures, so everything was taken from a public area, I'll just let you know. So again, there's, it doesn't look like it's, well, it looks noticeable from where it's sitting. But again, when it thickens up, the trees start sprouting leaves. It's going to be difficult to see that, that house. It'd be pretty hidden. Now, if you look at the terrain right around that house, it would be pretty tr tricky for a child to maneuver and not get hurt. So the next picture I have is the beginning of the Wells driveway. It's as junky as I expected. No dogs are around, but both myself and the devil, devil came knocking. Both think we remember that they had to have them removed for the children's safety. Do you remember how many there were? They were everywhere. Barking, all different shapes, sizes, ages. So, with all those dogs there, that would also make it tricky to just 
hang out in the thicket of the Wells home waiting for somebody to show up. They'd be noticed. So the next picture, I think I've got two. And this is the creek they keep searching. This is at the bottom of the Wells property along Ben Hill Road, and it runs behind the Wells property. So, well, there's no vehicle access along the back, so we didn't, we didn't go back there. I did ask if this Ben Hill Road is very busy. It sounds like there's six or seven houses on the one side, and, you know, that's probably it. So there wouldn't be any place to hide a vehicle and there would not be a hell of a lot of traffic, but people would notice if there was a strange vehicle sitting there. So as we know, this creek's been getting an awful lot of attention lately. They were out there with drones and I think they had a team of 35 searchers. They had cadaver dogs. And the drones were actually, they have a setting, a feature that you can put in the colors you're looking for. And the drone will actually go out there looking specifically for that dark color. So these drones, they've got all sorts of interesting features now. It'd be a fun toy. <laughs> so... The Devil Came Knocking also got this photo. And this is the original missing sign up on the Wells property. It's in the same spot, weather beaten. Something else that is very interesting that was pointed out to me is there's signs up and down Ben Hill Road saying no pictures or videos allowed. I'm not too sure if they can do that. It's a public road so i don't know and why wouldn't they want people out there taking pictures looking for this little girl so we did speak a little about the weather and the waterways in that area i guess due to humidity people are all over the place trying to find water to re to retreat to and Warriors State Park, where Summer went for that infamous swim, is actually quite a beautiful area. It's a state park, so it's very well maintained. They just seem to have got into a little cove where it was it was quiet. And it's it's a huge, huge river. I constantly flowing, so I have a little bit of a hard time seeing that. Mm, she went missing or took anything in, I'm sorry, from that river. I don't see it any way, shape, or form. I do believe Summer made it home quite safe. The drugs that are in this area are unreal, which make people very nervous and very sketchy. The devil came knocking, was telling me stories of how many people would be back down a road by gunpoint if they happen to end up in the wrong spot. You don't worry about the police out there. You worry about the citizens and their guns. <laughs> so for the most part, everyone knows each other in that area. And like a lot of small backwood areas, there are a lot of people that are related through marriage, blood, and have been there for generations. So it's basically a poor and addicted area. And that is a horrible combination. So it seems that most of the problems back in the past, recent past has been meth and opiates. And from what I've heard, they are continuing to take their toll on Hawkins County. So remembering that Rogersville has only about 4,700 people. Look at the amounts on these pictures. These are how large the seizures are. It's incredible. 
And in that area with so many deaths from ODs, it's, it's sad. The devil came knocking, shared with me that he's had a lot of friends that have passed from the different drugs. And as he said, it's heartbreaking. So I do not believe that the Wells house was a meth house. I think it was a party house, probably a fairly big party house. But I don't know about the drugs. Both Candace and Dawn, as we know, are heavily into, into alcohol. Moonshine is still a way of life back in those hollows. It's just not a safe spot for children. And uh, I seen when I was growing up, one fellow, probably in his late 40s at the time, he had like very, very little moonshine in his glass. And I'm talking a seasoned veteran. He drank lots. He took this little shot. About 10 minutes later, he was passed out in the bathtub. <laughs> like, uh, I wasn't going there. <laughs> so for whatever reason the urgency has not been there for summer as it has been for some other missing children an example an example being carly trent and uh they were begging for people to help search with her the locals found the abductor who was her uncle and held him at gunpoint until the cops finally showed up. <laughs> oh, so this is making me think that Hawkins County, TBI, FBI, they might know what has happened. We don't, but they might. Um, I know we're all... A we're all looking at that house. We're all looking at that house. But you know, there's some pretty sketchy people that live right around that area as well. So one of them is Don Sherfy Jr. So he has many people as first choice as to what happened to Summer due to his recent charges and uh, uh, essay, well, how would you say it? CSA? He is sick and twisted and uh, was on parole or probation at the time, and he was on Ben Hill Road. So I'm not quite sure how much they've looked at him or the, Eddie, the other petties that are in that area, but there's more there than in your your normal situation. So really, that's what I wanted to talk about today was, I know they're searching out there, so I thought maybe we should take a look at the topography and see what a little child is actually up against. Now, I was also told that the creek is high for this time of year. They've had lots of rains. So it is unusually high. I do know, as we both, well, we all know, they keep searching. I'm not how far they've gone down that creek. I'm not sure if they're finished with that area. But I know that we will probably be hearing something fairly soon. So with that, I'm just going to leave it there. And like I said, just a fast update. I really want to thank my uh, partner in crime, <laughs> the devil came knocking. He went out of his way to be helpful, and I really do appreciate him, as well as you. I appreciate you. I appreciate your time. And without you, I can't do this. I need a following. I need to pass the word around. This is my, my hopes. I want to put as much attention on these children as I possibly can. I'm stubborn. I'm going to keep going, keep trying. And uh, 
it's amazing how good it feels when one child is found. There's way too many losses, but we do get some wins. We do get to bring some of these babies home. So again, for now, I'm going to thank you. If before you are leaving, if you wouldn't mind hitting like, hit the bell, subscribe, and we'll leave it at that. I'm looking very forward to seeing you in the next one. Cheers.